What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mud. Welcome to my Warboss tutorial on how to paint an Empire State Trooper in the colors of Talibheim. And this is for the Warhammer Fantasy game. Empire State Troopers are the rank and file regular guys uh, in the army, just regular everyday guys. They're not giant orcs, they're not infused with dark magic or chaos mutations or energy. They're just regular guys, just trying to trying to make it trying to make it through the the life of a soldier in the the army of the empire so um, the colors of Talibheim are red and white I decided to go with a quartered effect you can also do um, as I'm about to explain uh, different styles of getting this kind of, of two colored effect I've seen modelers or painters with um, like one color legging and one colored shirt so a red shirt and white leggings or vice versa I think the quartered effect looks more um, uniformy, like a, a, you know, for the army, it just seems to look more like an army uniform this way. So here are the colors that you're going to need to use to achieve this effect on the model itself. I'm not going to lay out the colors for the basing, um, but if you want to follow how I painted my base then stay tuned to the end of the video because that's when I really go into the the colors for that but to paint a regular Talibheim model for the Empire State Trooper you're gonna need these colors skull white blood red Caradin granite shining gold bolt gun metal Deneb stone mechrite red astronomicon gray Calthin brown Talarn Flesh, that's Talarn Flesh, my most highly used paint color, which is why it's all beat up, and Bata Black and Ogren Flesh. Okay, and uh, before we begin, just wanted to make a special mention that this is going to be my Christmas present to a subscriber of mine, Man of War Gaming, who asked for an Empire State Trooper. I looked up his YouTube video this morning in my subscriptions page. I saw that he got an Empire Battalion box and a General for Christmas and I was really happy along with some paints that are very geared to, towards painting Empire Troops. I think he got Mechrite Red and Astronomicon Grey and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna help this guy out and give him a little tutorial. He asked for one in my last How to Paint an Astro Claws video and I thought I'd, I'd help a brother out, you know, pay it forward. So. Um, here you go. Merry Christmas, Man of War Gaming. Hope you enjoy, and for everybody else, I hope you are able to get some form of either entertainment or education or just insight on on how I painted my Empire State Troopers. Latest players. Okay, so I've got my primered up, glued together Empire Swordsman. I'm gonna get started painting him. I'm gonna get started actually with the three paints that Man of War Gaming got for Christmas. It was his request that I that I do an Empire or Talibheim soldier. Uh, so he he asked for either Talibheim or Altdorf, and um, they're both basically the same, predominantly red, except that uh, Talibheim has red and white, whereas Altdorf is red and blue. And so I decided to go with Talibheim instead. So uh, if you want to do an Altdorf soldier, then all you have to do is think about changing the grays and the whites to more blue colors and you'll get the same effects. Everything else, the reds, the details, all the other little bits and pieces, just um, you can follow this tutorial and get the same effects. So I'm actually going to start with the three paints, three of the four paints that Man of War Gaming got for Christmas. They're all foundation colors, Astronomicon Gray, Mechrite Red, and Calthin Brown. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start building a base foundation for our reds and our whites as well as picking out the brown details. So we'll use Calton Brown to paint any leather pouches, um, the belt, anything that you think needs to be brown or leather on your model, you can base with that. Mechrite Red is going to be for the, um, of course, the, the red parts of the uniform, and Astronomicon Gray for the whites. Now you can do the uh, actual uniform color in a couple of different ways. The first is that you can paint the entire um, like lower half of the model in one color and the upper half in the other for example having white breeches or leggings and a red shirt or vice versa. So 
So what I've decided to do is to give this guy more of a uniform looking feel. I'm going to make him, uh, I'm actually going to paint him a different way which is called quartering. I'm going to paint him in quarters which means that his right leg and his <clears throat> left arm will be painted in white and his left leg and his right arm will be in red or uh, those halves of the uniform so like when it goes to the back we're gonna that's how we're gonna split up um, split up the back of the uniform as well so I'm gonna get started on that putting down the base colors he's got this chest plate over the front so we're going to leave that for now but like for the breeches for the leggings um, everything else we're going to start painting in quarters okay so I'm going to get started on that and I will show you what the brown reds and gray details look like in the next step right so we've got the red and the gray down I decided to paint the little scarf around his helmet as well I've also painted the straps in calf and brown around his leg and wrapping the chest uh, the breastplate to his body and I painted the shield red and the skull and the studs on the shield because um, they're gonna be gold later so I decided to base them in brown now so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some new colors we're gonna mix in blood red to the mechrite red and that's gonna be our highlight color for the red pieces we're gonna mix in skull white to astronomicon gray we're also gonna paint the flesh the skin of the hands and the face talon flesh and uh, we're gonna base coat the feather in deneb stone Okay, so those are the four new colors we're going to be adding. Once we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and paint the silver. And the silver on the model are going to be painted in bolt gun metal. So that goes for the sword, the, um, the helmet, as well as the breastplate. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the breastplate silver and have the, the detail on it. I'm going to paint that in gold. I'm also going to paint the little hand weapon here on, on clipped to his belt um, in, in both gunmetal as well. The last thing uh, that I've noticed are there are the little purity seal looking things um, like here flying on the side of the model and here on the side of his leg. So I'm going to paint those in Deneb stone as well. Okay, so going from the top to the bottom of the model again, Deneb Stone for the feather, Bolt Gun Metal for the helmet, Talon Flesh for the face, Bolt Gun Metal for the breastplate, Deneb Stone for these little um, purity seals on the side, uh, Bolt Gun Metal for the, the sword or the little dagger scabbard, purity seal over here, Deneb Stone, hands in Talon Flesh and sword in Bolt Gun Metal. So I'll see you when those steps are completed. Okay, so our model now should look a little something like this. We've got just about all the base colors down except for the gold metallics. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint the gold bits here, like here on the shield, the um, gilding on the armor, as well as the uh, tips and details on the little hand weapons. You can also choose where you want to paint your gold detailing because each of these models is very different and unique, sculpted very differently. So. Um, you can mix and match, put your gold detailing wherever you want. Anyways, wherever you choose to have your gold detailing, just make sure you have a good foundation color on there first. And so for this one, I'm choosing Calvin Brown and um, the shiny gold, I'm now going to paint right over it. After I'm done with that, I'm going to wash the gold as well as the skin areas with Ogren Flesh. And the silver metals, I'm going to wash those with Bad Dad Black. If you find that the Ogren Flesh is too red for your gold, you can also try using Griffin Sepia, which um, is a nice warm reddish um, wash to put on your gold. Or you can uh, just, if you decide you want your gold to be a little darker than what, what I'm going for, then of course Devlin Mud or Bad Eye Black works really well. So I'm going to paint those now and I'll show you what those look like when I'm done with those. Also for the feather. Um, I am going to paint little stripes of carrot and granite um, just near the bottom just um, to give a little bit of color and definition um, and for an example of those you can check out any of the 
models that the Games Workshop studio has painted, a lot of the feathers in their Talapheim State Troopers, these red and white guys, have slashes near the base, or um, little slashes of black, so uh, I decided Chaos Black was a little too black, Scorch Brown was too brown, so I'm gonna go for a nice middle tone and do carried in granite. Okay, so I'll show you what those look like, what that all looks like when we get back. All right, so I, uh, a couple things. I started, uh, I filled in his teeth with Den of Stone and then Skull White. And then I started building back this, uh, building the skin color back up with a mixture of Talarn Flesh and Den of Stone. And, um, and then a fine glaze of Ogre and Flesh Wash after that. So you don't have to, but um, I tend to find that the more successive layers and glazes or washes that you do, the, the more uh, depth you'll have to your skin tones. Or any tones for your uniform for that matter. The gold looks really good on the chest plate as well as on the shield. And like I said, I did something different. I shaded them with Ogre and Flesh this time and that gives it more of a reddish bronzed color which I think um, for a rich state trooper such as this the Talapheim and um, Altdorf state troops tend to have more money and be a little bit more ostentatious and clean and well scrubbed with their uniforms and everything I, I think it lends itself a little bit more accurately to that for the feather I gave it a wash of Bad Ab Black and it's filling into the recesses nicely so I am going to let this guy dry, I'm going to base him, and then we will finish this model with a wrap up because that's about all we have to do. So we'll see you at the end of this video. Alright and there you have it, here's our finished Empire State Trooper, the paint on the base is still drying. I decided to um, base him up like the Games Workshop basing article says the men of the Empire are based in, which is basically like a Caradin Granite or Scorched Brown Chaos Black mix as the base coat, and then Bubonic Brown and Bleached Bone highlights, and then just grass and foliage on top, and then paint the rim Graveyard Earth. I decided to go with Kemri Brown because it's a little thicker, I'm going to have to apply another coat because I can still see the black rim underneath. But um, I'm pretty pretty happy with the way this state trooper turned out. I think you know the details on these guys are really really great. I added some scroll to his purity seal thing, um, and uh, I decided to leave this one blank for now. But I mean, like the detail on these models is really great. The amount of creative work that you can do to make them pop and look really interesting. Like if you remember the other state trooper I painted in the colors of Ostermark a while back, he had that um, that hourglass on the back of his his uh, uniform that um, you know you can paint up and look really really nice. And these models are just loaded out with these little bits of decoration that I think you can you can have a lot of fun with if you want. So thanks for watching. Again, uh, this was a tutorial on how to paint a Talapheim colored Empire Trooper for the Warhammer Fantasy game. If you'd like to see a Warboss tutorial on how to paint something my way, then please um, leave me a comment or send me a request. I'll try to get to as much as I can, but uh, you know how it is. <laughs> so thanks for watching everybody, and we will see you in the next video.